So we will need some ruffle ribbon. Um, I think this is one inch um, width. It might be smaller, but I think it's one inch. So you're gonna need some of that. Um, an elastic piece. I cut mine 15 inches for my daughter's head. And um, a middle, some smaller felt. Um, I'm just gonna use some faux or not felt, um, I'm going to use faux for my middle of my bow, and then um, a lighter, scissors, and a hot glue gun. So what you're going to do with your ribbon is you're going to cut a 6 inch piece and a 4 and a half inch piece. You're going to singe this, which I've already did, you just get the lighter and singe both sides on each piece of um, ribbon and then you're going to get your hot glue gun and I'm going to put a bit of glue right here and then I'm going to glue them together like that so you have a circle <laughs> and then you're going to do the same thing with this one Make sure the shiny side of the ribbon is facing towards you and not hidden on the inside or else it's going to not be as pretty. I mean, it'll be pretty, but it's just the wrong side of the ribbon. Okay, and then you're going to try and kind of guess where the middle is. And you're going to put a dot of glue on the back and glue it like so, and then you're going to do that with the other one, and glue it like so, and then what I'm going to do is, um, see how these seams are? I'm going to glue these seams together like that, so the seams are hidden on this bow, so I'm going to just glue a spot of glue. You don't need a whole bunch of glue for this. And you're going to just put the bow where you want it. Or, and I think I like that. So, you're going to get your felt, which you're not going to need all this length. And I'm going to measure. I'm going to cut. And then you're going to cinch and cinch. So you're going to take the longer side of the ribbon is going to be the um, back side of the bow. So you're going to put a dot and make sure your faux is facing shiny side up. And you're going to just wrap this. Alright, make sure. Yeah, like that. Okay. So I'm gonna cut this a little bit more. I'm not gonna singe it because it's just for my it's for my daughter and I know it's not gonna get messed up or anything. Then you're gonna glue another you're gonna glue this to the back. Like so. And then I'm gonna try and clean this up a little bit because there's strings everywhere for some weird reason. Okay. And then I already cut my daughter's size for her headband. Um, I'll list headband measurements in the description bar like all my other videos. So you don't have to worry about that. You're going to glue on that side and do that. And then you're going to... I think I'm going to... I'm going to put a little bit piece of glue in the middle just to kind of keep this from shifting. Okay. Then you're going to spot a glue. Make sure this is even. And you have a cute little 
Uh, these bows look so cute on. I was just messing around with ribbon one day and I was like, what am I going to really do with this? I used to make bows with it, but she already has like bows with it. So I wanted to do something a little bit more different. Simple, more simple than her other ones. And, um, this one still has glue, but it looks just like that. I absolutely think these are so cute on. Um, please give me a thumbs up and, um, subscribe to my channel and comment. And also, if you guys ever make any of my, um, design, like, creations or whatever, um, Show me fit pictures and tag me. I have an Instagram called um, Lowe's Boutique and then a Facebook Lowe's Boutique. And you can PM me your pictures and stuff. And I'd love to share them on my wall and, you know, share other... My, I just love to see your how your creations turned out if my tutorials are hopefully easy to understand. So, um, thank you and I hope you have a great day. Bye.